The Pawcatuck River flows nearly 34 miles through southern Rhode Island and along the border of Connecticut. The river was formed behind glacial moraines 10,000 years ago. It has provided an array of wildlife and cool, clean waters for generations of people. Long before the river laid its path, many Native American peoples lived on the lands around what would become the Wood Pocatuck watershed. The Narragansetts, the Neantics, and the Pequots were some of the largest tribes to control the 300 square mile area. Their fishing and agricultural activities made the watershed a thriving trade hub for centuries before the land became Rhode Island. European settlers first arrived in the 1600s and also learned to rely on the watershed for fish, game, and agriculture. The Pawcatuck continued to be an essential resource for settlers and natives alike, providing a healthy ecosystem that allowed their settlements to prosper. When we look at the Wood Pawcatuck watershed, it's a 300 square mile area in southern New England and encompasses 12 towns in both Connecticut and Rhode Island, so it's quite a large area. During the Industrial Revolution, however, construction of dams and mills along the river began to take a severe toll on the watershed. The Pawcatuck alone had more than 10 dams built along its path, creating barriers for migrating fish. They used to be very populous here before all of these structures were built when the colonists came over and started harnessing water power. Fish numbers plummeted as species like blueback herring, American shad, and alewife found they could not reach their historical spawning habitat. And although the dams contributed to a thriving industrial economy in New England, overfishing and pollution continued to drive down fish populations. The river heron are very important for the both marine and the freshwater ecosystems and a wide range of fish species all forage on, on river heron. In order to maintain the rich wildlife and the multi-billion dollar economy associated with the watershed, something had to change. 